Hi everybody, here's a very quick video to show you how to take through Design Space a new SVG to cut a nice presentation box for these craft beer Pilsner glasses which are being sold by Morrison Supermarket in the UK at the moment. This box would of course be suitable for any glass with the same dimensions and the dimensions are given on the Etsy listing which is in the description below. Um, it's about 75 millimeters which i think is about three inches and then 215 tall which i think is probably um about eight and a half inches tall but you can get the proper dimensions on the etsy listing um you can you get files to cut the box in one or two pieces so you can either cut it in a single piece using um a3 or tabloid card on the long mat or if you don't want to do that you can cut it in two separate pieces using A4 or letter size card or 12 by 12 of course using the standard mat so it's quite a versatile little group of files you also get the file to create this um, image here have I got a better view of that somewhere just scroll through there it says time for a crafty beer i used it to etch into the front of my glass but it's a true cut file svg so you could use that on anything you could enlarge it and use it on a cushion or a t-shirt or a hat or you could cut it in vinyl and put it on the front of a glass as well uh, there are four extra large flaps at the top to select the to protect the edge of the glass once it's in the box and there's an insert which fits around the top of the glass once it's in the box to stop it rattling around there isn't much room for it to rattle anyway the box is a nice snug fit but that just makes sure it can't move at all and just gives it a little bit more protection when it's uh, being carried around okay so let's look at a design space and we'll see how to cut it i'll bring in the single piece box first first job as always with any multi-part svg with score lines we've got to convert those lines that come in as cuts which we want to be scores we can't make them come in already set to score now with mine it's nice and easy because they're always in this very first subgroup in your layers panel and they're all together so you just click on the name of that group and it selects everything on the on the screen go to the operations menu click where it says basic cut and choose score from the drop down and you can see now those lines are dashed they've been converted but because there's more than one set while they're still selected we need to ungroup them i'm using the desktop version for pc so ungroup for me is at the top of the layers panel next step is to select the group below which contains all the cut pieces and any cuts within them and just ungroup and then finally select everything on screen anywhere you want to do it i'm clicking on the um remaining group in the layers panel which still contains everything if i toggle that you can see everything's still in that group but you could also drag a box to enclose it or you could use the select button in the top menu however you do it just do that third ungroup and so now everything on screen is a separate piece and we can attach the scores to the individual pieces that they relate to quickest way to do that click on canvas somewhere near a piece drag a box to more or less enclose it and click attach which for me is at the bottom of the layers panel you need to do that for each piece on screen which has score lines that's the top insert that's the lid that's the base of the box which has no scores and this is the main box piece so we'll click make it and we'll see that we can choose tabloid and we need one whole sheet and a small piece and we can choose A3 and we need one whole sheet and maybe a third of a sheet. I said one and a half sheets in the instructions, that's plenty. Um, can't choose anything else. You could choose 12 by 24, of course, if you've got that. Uh, you've got to use the long mat anyway, so it, that doesn't change either. Right, I'm not going to cut it, so I'll just click cancel and get rid of all that. And I'll bring in the two-piece version now this is where the main box body is in two pieces as you can see we've got a front and a side there and a side and the back of the box there so again we're just going to go through that routine of converting the uh, lines to scores click on the name of the first subgroup in your layers panel choose score and while they're still selected ungroup them select that subgroup below all we need to do there is ungroup and then select everything on screen and ungroup again then we need to attach the scores to the pieces as we did before 
if you're on PC like I am, you can also do Alt A, it's a bit quicker. Like that, and if we click make it, now you can see we can choose A4 and we need three sheets if we do that, and the standard mat this time, or we can choose letter and again we need three sheets if we're going to use letter. We can of course also cut on 12 by 12 and if you use that you need the standard mat and two sheets of 12 by 12. I think that's pretty easy, I don't need to show you anything else. If you have any problems at all when you come to cut or assemble it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. The ways to get in touch are via Etsy or Facebook, whichever you prefer, and the links to do that are in the description below. And if you just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to do that is also in the description below. Thanks a lot. Bye.